That is right, guys. I am getting another new set of wheels and tires for my 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime. You might ask, hey, Jim, you just got wheels and tires. What happened to those? And it's funny, actually. One of my viewers messaged me and loved those wheels and tires. He actually lives locally. He was the second RAV4 Prime in this area, and he wanted them, so I sold them. They weren't exactly what I wanted. They were a plus 45 offset, which worked fine, but I wanted to go with more of an aggressive look. So I wanted to have them stand out a little bit more. And I also wanted some nice AT tires. So I sold them and I bought brand new Motegi MR147 wheels. I've got five of them. And after searching for a while and not finding anything that was used to save some money i ended up buying brand new firestone destination at2 tires they have the three peak snow rating so i think they are going to be great in the winter up here in central new york i'm very excited it's exactly what i wanted i hope they look good but that's what i'm doing right now i'm going to jump in the car i'm going to drive about an hour away to the closest firestone service center they have them there they're going to mount and balance them for me I have the wheels in my car. I already mounted the TPMS and I will have links for all of this stuff down below if you are curious. But I think that's it for the intro. Time to hit the road. Well, as you can tell by that last little video segment, it is quite gray here. Just the kind of weather we get here in upstate New York most of the year. But anyways, I'm getting pretty close to Firestone. Very, very excited. I also wanted to mention why I went with these specific tires. Uh, a big concern of mine is, of course, losing range or losing efficiency. I don't want to make all these mods to the car and just crush that because the whole reason I bought the car is to drive efficiently and to drive on electric power as much as possible and adding a lot of the typical off-roading or overlanding mods usually hurt your range pretty bad. But with these specific tires, they are lighter. They had excellent ratings. It was between these or the Cooper AT3s. The Cooper AT3s, I think were only like a dollar more, but with these Firestone Destination AT2s, they are reported to be pretty quiet. So I don't think I'm gonna to have to deal with a lot of road noise, which was another big factor that I really didn't wanna go with a big tire that was gonna create a lot of noise because I love road trips and 90% of my driving is gonna be on highway or on a road somewhere. And I didn't wanna sacrifice ride quality or my eardrums with a noisy tire. I know the bigger ones look cool, it's awesome, but how realistic is it when you only go off-road or onto gravel or onto dirt 10% of the year. In my opinion, I don't think it makes too much sense to go with like a BF Goodrich KO2. Those suckers are heavy and they are going to murder your efficiency. It's gonna be so, so bad. But yeah, they look cool. <laughs> but I think that's it for now. Like I said, I'm getting pretty close so I gotta watch my map. There it is, it's all dropped off. <laughs> Again, just feel like a kid on Christmas, which is right around the corner, but very excited. I got a really good price. So for a second, I wanted to talk about pricing. I could have purchased these from Tire Rack with my wheels and they would have been mounted and balanced and I wouldn't have that expense. A lot of shops will charge you around $25 per tire. They thankfully are doing it for free. I think they said it was half off, but I didn't see it on there. So I kind of think they're doing it for free, but I got a great deal. Uh, it's part of a Black Friday deal that doesn't actually apply to Firestone tires. They're giving me a Bridgestone deal that is 70 bucks off. And then they're giving me, he said, again, half off installation, but my total price out the door for all of them programmed to the car is gonna be 833 bucks. So pretty happy with that. I think the price is really great. I think it ended up being a little bit cheaper than if I went through um, Tire Rack for sure because they weren't gonna give me the $70 off because it was a, a Bridgestone tire deal. But because it's the same company, these guys are giving it to me. So very excited. Uh, can't wait to see how it all looks. 
There it is, he's pulling it out. Very dirty, but it looks pretty cool. Guess he's going for a little test drive. There. God, that is noisy. <laughs> Needs to be clean, bad, but that's gonna look awesome. Now I gotta pay the guys. Well, that's it, they are on. I'm ready to take the first trip and head all the way back home. Like I said before, it's about an hour drive. And unfortunately, like in all of my videos, it started raining. So it can't really be a perfect test or anything because now I've got all the rain and the water on the ground to deal with. I was really curious right off the bat if I could tell if there was a noise difference between the old ones and the new ones. I'm pretty positive like these are going to be a little bit noisier, but I selected these in particular, again like I said earlier, that because they are supposed to be a little bit quieter than pretty much any other tire out there that I could find. But with this rain, that's going to add a little bit of noise so it won't be completely apples to apples test. But speaking of testing, I also wanted to talk about my driving efficiency. Since this weather got a little bit colder into the 30s, low 40s, I'm just amazed at how poor my EV efficiency has been. I've been driving electric cars for a long time. I'm normally a very efficient driver. I was getting about 3.1 in the summer in the warm weather. But since the cold weather set in, I'm seeing like 2.5, 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour regularly. So I'm surprised it's so low. I hope it doesn't drop much more if at all, with these new tires. If we get down to two, that's gonna really suck. Hopefully it doesn't drop too much further below 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour, but I'll be watching that and I'll have to report on that later. But that is kind of a hard thing to test because there's so many variables. And then of course the miles per gallon, that's a, a really impossible number to pinpoint down because your mile per gallon is gonna depend on how much electricity you use. So it, it's pretty impossible to tell. But I think I'll be able to give you guys a pretty informed opinion, at least, of, of what's happening. But I think that's it. Time to head out. Another thing that I forgot to mention was that these new tires are slightly taller than the OEM tires. The OEM tires are 225 60R18s, and these are 235 65-17s. And they're actually about, I think, a half inch taller than the OEM wheel. And that means, I guess, I'll be driving just a little bit faster with these new tires. I'm not a tire expert, so I can't explain it all. I'm just going based on the charts I've seen online. But at 60 miles an hour, I will actually be doing something like 60.83 miles per hour. But I've already noticed with this car, no matter what speed I set this to, it, it seems to be around two miles per hour slower. So if you're driving on the road and you can see those road signs and it shows you your speed, I've also used my phone to track GPS speed. It was pretty consistently about two miles per hour slower than what the speedometer said. So with these new tires, I will inch a little bit closer towards the actual speed shown on my odometer. But that's also going to affect my miles per gallon. It's gonna affect my trip odometer, my EV range, all of that stuff and I don't really know how to test that accurately. I don't think I'll really be able to. I'm just pretty sure that I won't lose much if anything with these new wheels. Another reason why I think that is because these wheels are lighter. I'll have to weigh them when I get home but they should be a couple pounds lighter as well and I'm sure that'll help the unsprung weight. Well I've got eight miles on them now. I'm on the highway doing 64 and I can say I don't notice them being any louder than my other tires were before. In actuality, they probably are just a little bit. And what I can do is have some dead air with me not talking for a few seconds. And we can compare that to some dead air from the last tires that we just took off. So we're going to do that right now. Here are the brand new tires doing 60 on the highway. So some of that, of course, is going to be the rain that you're probably hearing. Uh, but now I'm going to play a clip from before with my other tires. And you let me know if one seems any quieter than the other.
Yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you think. I can't really tell until I probably get my headphones on and start editing this stuff. But a big thank you to the guys at Firestone in Horseheads, New York. I was a little worried because they had questionable ratings on Google, but the guys in there were nothing but professional. They were all awesome. And yeah, I'm just very happy with the deal, the whole experience. It all went great. Well, I'm back home, but it is so dark and so rainy, I can barely see my brand new tires. So that's disappointing. I really wanted to like look at them and check them out, but can't even see them. So I'm gonna do pretty much the only thing I can do right now is weigh these two tires. I have the new one there and I have the OEMs right there. I've already weighed the OEMs in a previous video and they were, I believe around 54 pounds, but I'll do it again and see how they compare to the brand new ones. All right, here we are. Uh, I have to give it a slight pressure this way to keep it up there. Let's see. And it looks like it's about 50 pounds, maybe 51. Yeah, about 51. All right, and here's the new one. Uh, the white stuff is lubricant to get the tire on. Unfortunately, they didn't clean it off, but it's okay. But we'll get this guy up and see how much this one weighs. All right, that actually balances great. Just the OEM wheels for some reason have to be held in place. Nice, it's about 45 pounds. So awesome, I'm saving about five, six pounds per quarter. That's awesome. Hey guys, well it's the next day. It is kind of silly to do a car wash when it's gray and raining, but I really wanted to see what this car looked like clean and with the new wheels. And I also wanted to clean off all that white lube that's on these tires. So we're gonna wash it all up and then we're gonna do the final reveal of my 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime with my new wheels and tires. This is awesome, I'm just so excited. Wow, so there it is, guys. What do you think? Does that look pretty cool? I love the look. There's no tire gloss on it. I think it'll look nice when those are shiny as well. But wow, I love it, man. I think it looks great. And that's all it's about, right? I mean, you're personalizing the cars for you. So you guys might hate it. You have to let me know in the comments below, but I think it looks awesome. I'm very happy with it. Again, these are Motegi uh, MR147 wheels with Firestone Destination AT2s. I love it. There it is. I guess let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Love it or hate it. I have a lot more stuff coming out. I have a new roof rack coming. I have a rear ladder coming. Yeah, got some cool stuff. So subscribe and watch my channel for more. Thanks.